Hello everyone, this is Latasha Blanton from the Real South Africa Travel and Tourism. And you're gonna have the opportunity to travel with Phil Scott to... Sunny South Africa. You guys are gonna have the opportunity to come to Johannesburg and you guys are gonna be coming to Durban. And we're gonna set it up perfectly. It's gonna be like a luxury experience for you guys. At the same time, you're gonna be getting some culture. And of course, you're gonna get an opportunity to talk to Phil, hang out with Phil, and get his views on Africa and South Africa. You're also going to get an opportunity to explore the lifestyles here that are available in South Africa. And we're going to do all that for you in an amazing 10 days. We do hope that you go to the website and book because we do look forward to seeing you here. Absolutely. Our website is therealsouthafrica.com. Go there, scroll down. You'll see a picture of Phil and just go ahead and book there. So we'll see you here in what we like to call sunny, sunny South, South Africa. Africa. Y'all want to hear a creepy story? Well, good. I got one for you. So on January 1st of this year, in Miami, to be exact, at the Bayside Marketplace, there was a lot of things going on. Well, originally, it sounded like a group of teens got into some sort of an altercation. Uh, it sounds like maybe they uh, set off some firecrackers in the mall and uh, people thought there was an active shooter. And so people were running all over the place trying to get out and get away and all kind of stuff. And they said that a bunch of uh, police units were dispersed to the area. And some people said that it was like a hundred of uh, police officers uh, were there to try to figure out what was going on. Okay, so it sounds like it was some teens. They said that four teens were arrested from the ages of 14 to 16 for their part in the mayhem, if you will. But then there are some people who said, okay, yeah, that might have been some teens, you know, being mischievous. However... On that same day, in that same place, we saw some things that were not considered to be human. Now I'm going to let y'all listen to a guy describe what uh, was going on down there. Check it out. They seen eight to ten foot creatures walking down Biscayne Boulevard and walking on Bayside. They said they didn't have no hands, they didn't have no feet, but they was just like, they weren't aggressive, they weren't trying to hurt nobody, kind of like looked like they were lost. They were like teleporting and coming back quickly and shape shifting like, and, and not in like a cra yeah, I, it's crazy. I can't even say not in a crazy way, but in such a superior way, said they weren't scared of us at all. I don't know who you believe in, what entity, what higher power, but you need to start believing in something, Miami, because they here, I don't know what they want, they said people got to shooting at them and they weren't, they weren't scared of police or nothing. So as you heard him say, people were saying that there were creatures that were around eight feet tall or so and they didn't have any hands. Sounds like maybe some people were trying to shoot at them and the creatures were not afraid of the people. They were just kind of walking around doing their thing. Of course, there's some footage of whatever this thing may be uh, walking around there um, in Miami. Now, some people were speculating as to whether it was a government uh, experiment gone wrong, whether it really aliens, demons, or Nephilim. Nephilim are considered to be uh, the creation of humans and angels or some sort of a fallen entity, giants, uh, to say the least. And so uh, the government and the authorities there in Miami was like, nah, it, there, there was no aliens, no, no Nephilim or UFOs. Y'all tripping down there, right? That's what they're saying. They're saying, oh, this was all due to the teens. But as the guy said, y'all got all that manpower for some teens? Nah, what do you know that y'all don't want us to know? You know, right? Now, my personal assessment is this. I can understand if it was maybe, you know, one or two, even three people saying, nah, man, we seen some aliens running around here, some big giants with no hands. And I'd be like, okay, well, did, what was y'all smoking? Did y'all need to cut it in half next time? And that's what I would have been thinking. But it sounds like it was more than just a couple of people with these, you know, eyewitness uh, sightings of this entity that was considered to be non-human. Now, let's go back to net last year, rather, where there were uh, military veterans that uh, testified before Congress to say, yeah, for decades, uh, the United States government has hidden non-human being entities, whether it was aliens or whatever it was, they were not human and they've known this for years. Now, of course, we know they've known it for years, but they have dismissed it as, oh, you guys didn't see anything. 
that light in the sky or was just a star or, you know, whatever it was. But we've heard a lot of eyewitness stories, especially firsthand accounts of people says, no, I was beamed up and it wasn't Scotty. It was somebody else, right? Like that movie back in the 80s, I think it was called uh, uh, Fire in the Sky, where a man gave a firsthand account of them sucking them up in, in, into some spaceship and they did all these experiments on them and stuff. And then they released him back to Earth and, you know, people didn't believe him and all that other stuff. And there's just a whole bunch of stuff. Now, there's a place in Nevada called Area 51 where they're supposed to be keeping all these things. And when Hillary Clinton was running for president, she said, oh, yeah, there's an Area 51, you know, so... They kind of was starting to talk about, yeah, there's something esoteric going on behind those walls. And a few years back, there was supposed to be this movement of uh, people. They're like, we're going to storm Area 51 and they're going to show us these aliens. <laughs> we're going to demand to see what's behind there. Now, I don't know how far they got. It don't sound like anybody got behind those walls. <laughs> but nevertheless, curiosity began to peak. Like, no, we know there's something going on. We know the United States government knows uh, and, and they're hiding something from us. And so when we hear about stories about what, like what happened in Miami at that mall, you cannot keep dismissing it as you didn't see anything. Oh, you're seeing things. It, it, it was just some teens. Now, was there some teens acting up? Yeah, sure. But what about the other stuff that people said they saw? You can't just dismiss that, right? So... I'm sure in a couple of years or whatever, we'll hear about, yeah, you know, those people, they, they really did see something. Now, is it aliens? I don't know. Is there something of uh, more biblical proportions? Is this, you know, the start of revelations? You know, it's been prophesied that all these things are supposed to be happening, you know, per the Bible. Are we starting to see that kind of stuff? Like what? Or, you know, do we have things living amongst us and we just couldn't see them until now? Maybe they're like, hey... How y'all doing? We're just, you know, going to the mall, go get a Gucci bag. I don't know. We'll find out sooner or later, but I'm going to ask y'all, do y'all believe in other forces that are among us? Or do y'all think them people tripping and tripping on some mean stuff? <laughs> so anyway, y'all tell me what you're thinking for more insightful commentary. Please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show here on YouTube.